This is Eyewitness News at 5, and we are streaming live on CBS News Philly. Good evening, everybody. I'm Siafa Lewis. Yuki Washington is on assignment. And I'm Jessica Cartelia. First at 5, James Harden is officially introduced by the Sixers. Uh, Philly was my, you know, my first choice. I just knew, you know, for a very long time, this was a perfect fit. Number one all around, Philly's number one choice, and you heard him. Philly was also James Harden's number one choice. It's an exciting new chapter for the Sixers. Sports director Don Bell and sports reporter Pat Gallen have been following Harden's journey to Philadelphia. Don, he certainly said all the right things. Yeah, he did. What a wild ride it's been, right? Listen, for this guy, three teams in 14 months, that's the kind of track record that'll make you think twice. But with Valentine's Day still in the air, there's nothing but love for the beard. Three-time scoring champ James Harden meeting the Philly media for the first time. Pat Gallen joining us from the Wells Fargo Center with more. PG. DB, this is what it's all about. It's all about putting together star-level talent in the NBA, and the Sixers think they've done that with James Harden and Joel Embiid now as a pair. So, what is it? It's championship or bust. We've been looking for a player with a particular set of skills that he's developed over uh, over his career and and James uh, and James Harden. The Sixers believe they've found the missing piece of the championship puzzle. Ten-time All-Star James Harden. Being a winner's hard, and that's what we want to become, and that's why we make trades like this. We want the opportunity to be the winner, and we believe that this trade does that. Harden, who was introduced today along with Paul Millsap, says this is the place he wants to be. Philly was my you know my first choice. Uh, it just didn't happen. So um, you know. But just detailed, I don't really want to get into, you know, the Brooklyn situation. I just knew, you know, for a very long time this was a perfect fit. And obviously you got a, a big man, best big man in the league in Joel. And then obviously the coaching, uh, just from top to bottom, it made sense. And he can't wait to get started. The best fans in the NBA. You know, a lot, of a lot of teams say that, a lot of organizations say that, you know, a lot of fan bases say that. But, like, ride or die, like, Probably the best fans in the NBA. And uh, I'm just happy that they're on my side and I'm not getting booed. <laughs> President of Basketball Operations Daryl Morey says there's no other way to a title. You need multiple superstars. We knew from the moment Ben asked out that if we were going to do a trade, it had to be for one that we thought uh, could allow us to compete at a high level. And the way this league works, uh, you have to get players of the caliber of, of, of a James Harden. You can win without it, but you look historically in the league, you're, you're, you're looking at pretty long odds if you don't have two great players of that level. When Harden was asked if he thinks this is a championship pairing with Joel Embiid, he didn't hesitate. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, in the end, of course, it's all about the ring. And the good news is, Harden says he is feeling 100% healthy. That being said, we're still going to have to wait at least a week until we see him on the court with the Sixers. They're going to hold him out until after the All Star break. So, DB, I know you're excited. All of Sixers Nation is excited to finally see James Harden on the court. We just got to wait a little bit longer. That's all. Hell yeah. I I I'm waiting for the t shirts to be printed, <laughs> Pat. You know what's happening, like, as we speak.